Hi everyone, it's been nearly two months since I came back home early from Malaga in Spain because of the virus outbreak. You might have heard about that. Ever since returning, I've wanted to put together a collection of my pictures and a few thoughts from the city. I've previously shown some 35mm and Instax film pictures, but all of these are taken with my Fujifilm X-T3, mostly with the 18mm f2 and just a few with the 35 1.4. Maybe you can spot them. I'll put links to my kit in the description below. I've waited a little while to bring these photos together, and I know that I've been inspired by a change in the English weather. After weeks of warm, bright days, as I write this, there is now rain and clouds, and a little gloom. Missing Malaga was much easier in the sunshine. I was in the city for six weeks, and in Spain for nearly two months at the start of 2020. It was the escape from the dark and cold that I had dreamed of throughout many English winters. There were times when I felt like I had run from something. Each day I would walk down into the city centre and then further on to the beach. When I looked down at the waves around my feet, I knew I had probably gone as far as I could. Maybe walking out into the sea towards Africa might take me valuable steps further from the grey and cold of the February days back home. It's okay, I thought. Winter won't find me here. I could relax and breathe, slowly and in time with the ocean. Malaga is not just a coastal city, it's an international port. As news and concern about the virus spread faster and further than the virus itself did initially, I sometimes thought that it was not the best place to be. I was meeting people from so many different parts of the world, people traveling, on holiday, people just passing through. For so long the virus was something happening somewhere else, and something to be wary of, but not an imminent threat. It was at first across one continent and not ours, then other countries and not ours. Then it was across Madrid and the north of Spain, but not Malaga. It's then you realise that the game is up. You realise there's nothing special about your city that'll keep you safe. I decided to book an early flight and was back home in days. But I seemed to have switched to the end of the story. It wasn't about rushing back home. It was about finding somewhere new. I'd planned to visit several cities in Andalusia, but after experiencing the dry cold of Granada, I could never take the warmth of Malaga for granted, and I didn't want to leave. It's not as hot as some more inland cities, such as Seville, but it suited me just fine. So what might have been a tour of the south of Spain became a period of reflection in just one city, a reflection and a meditation on Malaga through photography. I spent many peaceful hours filming from a balcony one hot afternoon, watching the tiny characters walk and run and drive around in funny little patterns. I filmed and photographed in the streets and on the beach. I watched the sun arc down into distant buildings and beautifully colour the ocean so many times. At one vantage point on a hillside, a man would play melancholic Spanish guitar for the people who gathered there. The small crowd would watch the quiet sky, slowly pulse orange and red and yellow. I watched with them and breathed in the quiet, beautiful sky. I took pictures, of course, and some clips on my phone, and then the sun was gone. Both it and the guitarist would always return the next day. I stayed in five different apartments in my six weeks in Malaga. The sunrise from the kitchen window in one of these was always an inspiring way to start a day. It's funny to be here in England and thinking of a particular kitchen window in Spain. In my mind I'm picturing the view through my Contax T2, my fun Instax camera, and of course my Fujifilm X-T3. My days were spent mostly exploring the city ordering small canyas of the local Victoria beer and developing an addiction to frozen yoghurt that must have cost me more than my flights to and from Spain. In the evenings I'd meet with friends and talk with people from all over the world. It felt such an international place to be. We'd mix with the carnival that spanned so many days in February and would see people rehearsing ceremonies for Semana Santa celebrations that never went ahead. If I have one regret, it's that I didn't take pictures of the people I met. 
They were my reason for staying above even the sunshine. We took selfies and snapshots, but I never stop and say to people, can I take your picture? And it's a shame. That will be my new normal when all of this clears. And of course, it's always good to have a reason to return. Thank you everyone for watching. Links to the lenses and cameras I've used here are in the description, along with links to my wedding photography and Patreon page. This month I've been sending Instax prints to all my Patreon supporters, so feel free to check that out. Thanks once again everyone, see you soon.